and she is right on the tail of Still. She could take this away from Still. Oh, oh my! So, championship decider. Oh, I do love a championship decider, especially when it's the last race of the last uh, round of the season. Max Shields, you can see, pumping himself up. Ready to go for this one. For me here, Tom, Shields has to win it. Still, just has to uh, tie on to the back That's of the what I'm saying, uh, 181. Yeah, just, just needs to follow in the wheel tracks. So the start line marshal making his way down to the front of the grid. Twelve laps then of senior pro kart action here at Teesside. Green flag is up. Down we are away. Good start from both Still and Shields as they slot into first and second places. Christian <coughs> Oblag, already winner of a heat today, drops into third place. Overtaking Finn Collister, who is now in fourth. And that's Danny Bean in fifth. And I think it's Amy Frame in fifth. It is, uh, it's, uh, yeah, fifth it is. Onto the back straight they go then. Oblag. Oblag could be the fly in the ointment here, you know. He's had a good day so far. Well, she, uh, still can afford to drop one place. He can go down to third. That will give him the championship by three points. But if he goes down to fourth, though, Tom, that's a one-point swing in the direction of Max Shields. He bounces over the kerbs. He's pushing. Can't yeah. do anything else, though. No. Sh still, I, I don't know whether Still at the minute is going about this the right way. He's pretty defensive already. Mm. <clears throat> Should really just be head down and go flat out. There's and try to go with Shields. Instead, he finds himself oh, defending. Finn Collister and uh, Christian Oblak there. Yes, indeed. The thing for me now, Tom, with Shields is uh, we've seen this before, and I've seen it recently in karting as well at the, in the British, is that, yes, he can move away and needs it, but then at the end, obviously, if he takes the win, he needs still to be no better than... Uh, it was, in fact, it was um, Club 100, where the guy at the front... He needed the, the, the driver at the time who was in second to finish no better than third or fourth. And in the final two or three laps, what he did was slow right down. And backed him And up. then backed him into the rest <laughs> of the pack. And then tried to use that to his advantage on that occasion. It didn't quite work out for him. But what a race that was covered by Alpha Live at Bookmore Park a few weeks ago. Our friends uh, Andrew and Howard from Double Dash Motorsport Media, who we share the British 24 hour with here. Uh, we're covering that one. It was a superb race. If you get the opportunity to watch that back on the Alpha channel, please do. Uh, but that was, yeah, the leader then just backed, the, uh, backed him into the pack to see whether he could uh, make something happen. It looks like in this, what, this case here, Shields is just going to drive off the front and let, uh, let nature take its course, so to speak, with those behind. Because there is Oblag and Collister, both here, Tom, could uh, cause Harvey still some worry well there, there is there is a thing with uh, of course with oblag um oblag could go past yeah still could let oblag go past no yeah, problem at all doesn't need it as collister actually the, went wide tom round to, uh, the national loop i was going to say the problem is that then he'd have collister on his tail and if Collister comes through... Oh, Black, down the inside of Shields. And they're still, sorry, into Hairpin 2. There was a little bit of contact between them. And Christian Oblag is through into second place. And now, Harvey still is in the nervous zone. Yes. Oh, here we go. We're going to have a replay of it. So there is Oblag. Full send down the inside. Just straight lines it between 1 and 2. Gets the nose in there and... Side pod to side pod. But yeah, and got through. A little bit of lift between the two of them. <coughs> Oblak then up into second place. Harvey still down into third. So Shields is now in the lead of this race by three seconds. Harvey still is under extreme pressure here from Finn Collister. This is the danger zone, as David called it, the nervous zone. This is the squeaky bum time, as a, a famous commentator once said, for Harvey Still. If Finn Collister comes through, this championship is going to Matt Shields. Yeah, it's going it's to be wide open, Tom, this one. 
the, the issue is, is that for Still is that if he drops down into fourth place, this becomes a drop round for him. So there's nothing he can do if he's down into fourth or anywhere below. This becomes a drop round. Such has been the strength really of Harvey Still throughout this year that if he drops down into fourth place, he's still going to score 194 points for a round. 194 and to drop it would be... Uh, pretty much unheard of unless you run, you know, like senior pro car when you're running into in qualifying. Collis is side by side. Round the outside, couldn't get the move done, gonna try and get the switch back, get the better drive down the back straight. Bit of a defense uh, to the inside there from Harvey still. Collister with a bit of a helmet tap. You say that nothing silly is gonna, come, gonna happen, but as the laps come down, what maybe what Collister's saying there is, I'm not gonna attack you now, but give it a couple of laps or so, and that might change. Amy Frame coming into play as well, Tom, she in the is. background. I think she needs to. Uh, she needs a certain position as well to move up into uh, fifth in the championship. I think she needs to finish third. So she's really wanting to push Tom for Harvey Stills third place because Amy Frame needs that third place to jump into fifth in the championship. So. She's going to close up, and when she does, I don't think she's going to ride shotgun for very long. She needs that third place. Collister has a look over his shoulder, sees that frame is coming. Apologies to Shield and Arblang. They're going to get absolutely no coverage whatsoever at the, in first and second in this race, unless Arblang closes that gap of nearly three seconds in, because we're going to stick here with Harvey still riding in third place. Third place is going to be enough for the championship. Fourth, however, will not. Oblak sets the fastest lap of the race. Five to go in Junior Pro. Well, the other thing to consider is there are five laps to go. And uh, Christian Oblak is two seconds behind, but was a second faster than Matt Shields on that lap. Now, if he overtakes Matt Shields, Harvey still doesn't need third place anymore. No, if Shields finishes in second place, Harvey still, it doesn't matter because even if he scores a drop score, that's not going to be enough for Maximus Shields. He needs to win this race with Harvey still needing to finish inside the top three. God, this is nervous times, David. Nervous for us. It's nervous for the, the drivers. Nervous for those watching as well. Shields crosses the line this time. Four to go. The gap was 1.9. It's now down to 1.2. I'll be like taking chunks out of Max Shields. Another six tenths faster. So Oblag needs to close in. Well, he doesn't need to because he's guaranteed third in the championship. Our Shields, though, could have just gone early. The tyres could be uh, going to be a bit higher on pressure, so he could have needed to go a little bit lower. I called it at the start of this race. I said uh, Christian Oblag could be the fly in the ointment here. Let's see whether he's going to overtake Maximus Shields and deny Shields a potential championship regardless of where Still finishes. Still, however, is still managing to hold on to third place. So Still is doing what he needs to do, which is finish third, regardless of where Shields finishes. If Still finishes third, the championship is going home with still. Two and a half laps, seven tenths now at the uh, for the leaders, Tom. Shields needs to win this race. Looks over his shoulder at Christian Oblag behind. Oblag closing in, another fastest lap. Another on the half second. One. Half a second. So he's going to be right on the back of Maximus Shields here. Will want to uh, finish this season on a high, I'm sure. But in doing so, if he was to take the victory from Max Shields, it doesn't matter about Harvey still. Still becomes irrelevant in the race. Oh, Amy will Frame! Win the championship. Down the inside of Finn Collister goes Amy Frame over the line. Two to go. The gap for the lead. Three tenths of a second now. And uh, Harvey still's got a bit more of a cushion now. Amy Frame has come through, but Frame is the driver that is desperate for third place. Collister goes wide, drops off the leading, uh, the, the two in front. Yeah, Frame needs P3 from Harvey Still to move up, I think, into fifth into the, in the championship. We're going to cut now to the lead battle because Christian Oblag has reeled in well over two seconds, Tom, onto the back of Maximus Shields. Yeah, this is going to get very close now. Uh, Oblag is right there onto the back of Shields. 
They're going to come across the line and take the final lap board. Has Oblag got anything left in his tyres? Has he got anything left in terms of attack for Maximus Shields? Is he going to deny him a potential championship? Harvey still is still in third place, but Amy Frame is right there in fourth, and she is right on the tail of Still. She could take this away from Still. Oh, oh Black is up the inside of Hairpin One. Shields is going to get the cutback side by side down the back straight. They go. They're pretty much going to enter South Bank at the same moment in time. Maximus Shields, Christian Oblag. Oblag's round the outside. Shields not giving this one up. He's desperate to take the victory because it's all he can do to take the championship. Tom's looking out the window at Harvey still. Shields hard on the brakes. Oblag into the back of the 181. Shields is going to come through, I think, to take the victory. Still Shields third. wins from Oblag. But Harvey still comes through, finishes third, and takes the championship by three points in Junior Pro Kart. 1240 to 1237. Shields did absolutely everything that he could do. And Harvey still comes through. Shields has just asked him there, Thomas, to go around the corner. Where did you finish? Harvey still, third place. And the 48 of Harvey still. They're on your screen. Your race winner, Maximus Shields. But Harvey still, head in his hands with elation, is your 2022 Junior Pro Kart Champion here at Teesside Autodrome. Congratulations, Harvey Still. That was a tense drive, to say the very least. Congratulations as well to our podium uh, win uh, sitters, which is Max Shields, Christian Oblag, and Harvey Still taking third place and with it, the championship. You could see, uh, honestly, Tom, I, there must be tears in the eyes there of Harvey Still. His head was in his hands down the back straight. And... Uh, at least one thing with that, Tom, is that it meant that his mum could stop bouncing up and down like a kangaroo because she was <laughs> all 12 laps of that race. She was, uh, she was bouncing up and down on the start finish straight. That's what nerves does for you. It was nervy from, just, yeah, it was from still, wasn't it? But a uh, big shout as well to Amy Frame finishing fourth on a comeback drive.